All right, folks, it is benchmark time. Last time we did this, Ed Walker's benchmark was insane. But from what I hear, this is like actually a really important benchmark because this shows the graphical update. Aside from like seeing how my computer scores, the last time, every time they do a benchmark like this, they include some insane cutscenes, all of which may not be canon, it's just meant to push the system. But it's still cool nonetheless. It still kind of gives you like a little little taste of what to expect in the next expansion. So we got the we got the Midlander here, which is like pretty cool already. It's like taking a closer look, like the details on this definitely showcases already like what to look forward to for the graphical update. I want to keep saying graphical update all the time during this video. It is very exciting. I am so glad that they are putting this game through some insane uh, touch-ups, you know? Obviously, Catboy is my main right here. Oh my gosh, that is insane detail. Like, yeah, the luster off of the, the armor plates. These, de these textures used to be very, like, low res. Uh, it looks good from afar, especially, but once you zoom in, especially during cutscenes, like, that's where you start to lose the detail. Even this, the weird catboy claw hands, even they look better in this graphical update, which is insane. Um, Yoshi P also mentioned the shimmer that the skin has now. Very nice. I like that. Again, I like the direction it's going. Let's, uh, let's fix it up. Let's see what a female character looks like. Oh, this aura Z this Zayla looks amazing. You know, I thought I thought the aura were pretty hot. The, the females, not the males. The males are all jerks. But uh, <laughs> this just makes them look so much better. Yep. Hot. <laughs> For the sake of this benchmark, I'm gonna go actually rather than oogle at like the current characters. Let's let's create an a uh, Hrothgar female. All right. So height. Gotta make them big, of course. Bus size, gotta make them big, of course. How much bigger is it? Hey, that's a that's a pretty significant slider. Face, okay, this was the interesting one. So let's see here. That's what they need to do. They need to add more faces. Like each race should have a, a whole set of former faces. Think of, think of the variety of people that you'll be able to see. Let's try this one. Okay, now hairstyle. Oh, we got four. We usually with hair, I like to have it be long. Even on guys. Patterns? Oh wait, okay. I'm just gonna go to small clothes because I want to see the patterns. Let's see here. Mm, I've never been a fan of leopard print. Um, I like stripes. That one looks like it's like drawn on. I'm gonna try to have it be more natural. So there you go. Yeah, fang length. Can I see them? Oh, I like fangs, but I don't want them to be too long. So let's, I feel like when I, when there's anthropomorphic creatures that talk like human language, if they have fangs, it's kind of distracting. So I'm gonna keep them short. I like putting actual eyebrows for my anthropomorphic tastes. Uh, you know, the more human they look, the better. You know, I'm no furry, but face paint. I mean, this is... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I like the face paint that gives more of an eyeshadow. I like I like that. Yeah. Oh, she's looking pretty. All right. Would I, would I Fantasia to a Hrothgar girl? Mm -hmm. No, not really. I like my cat boy. I mean, my, my VTuber model is based on him. But this was really cool. So I'm going to actually switch back to my boy right here. You know what, I'm gonna stick with the Viper outfit. All right, here we are. Ooh. I'm already excited. The lighting, you can see it, it's improved. And that close up looks good too. Like, and it, it almost feels like you're watching an FMV or like a pre-rendered scene, but it's not. Hell yeah. All 
All right, I'm, I'm excited. I'm actually really, also really curious what score I'm gonna get. Oh yeah, they mentioned that that grass parts when you walk through it now. Oh, all the close-ups look so good. So many, in the past we would just have to ignore the pixels that we see, but now we don't have to. And the light, look at how much, how the light hits the, the trees in the background on that earlier scene. Oh my gosh, such a huge improvement. Will I use reshade on this? Probably still, make it more vibrant. But still though, it's, you can tell that it's a huge improvement. Oh, see that depth of field a little further back? I actually, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to expect going into Dawn Trail. As far as like the direction the story's going, you know? Okay, first battle. Oh wait, this is where they're gonna show up the combat. Okay, all right, Black Mage. That was a, oh my gosh, so much is going on. I'm gonna have to watch this multiple times. Well, you just, I just saw what, a new Sage move, that big old circle. We're walking in, we're walking in, we're going in. Let's go, let's go, Warrior of Light to the rescue. Probably gonna be a, a hunt mark. Paladin! Oh my gosh. Oh wow! I think it shows all the, the final the finishers of every single uh, class. That was too fast. I'm gonna have to slow that down and analyze it. All right, here's the casual content. Those flowers were really high definition. You know, again, I'm not expecting to come in with like full-blown PS5 graphics for this. Everything here is perfectly acceptable to me as far as the direction it went. I did not want hyper-realism. This game does not need that. But the fact that the camera can zoom in so close on these objects and skin and, you know, it still looks really good, that, that's, you know, that's enough for my money. Look at me. Look at me. Goodbye, weird, uh, duck bill boy. Oh yeah, the flight scene. Yeah, again, in, in comparison to Endwalker, which is like a big finale for the series, I'm just going into Dawn Trail just super casual. You know, whatever story they have in store for us, I hope it sets up for like a new big saga, you know? Okay, this a boss, this big boss battle. Oh, eight person team. Let's go, let's go. I'm going in! <laughs> I might give Pictomancer a try, but if I'm being honest, it's like... I've never been one to be a caster, that's why. Oh, he's ulting! Oh shit, that was pretty cool! Watch how many people are gonna try out uh, freaking Viper later when the game uh, launches or expansion. Wow! Wait, was that an LB3? Oh wait, I'm supposed to get a screenshot of that. All right, wait, what's my score? What's my score? Can I play this game, guys? Can I play this game? <laughs> Extremely high! <laughs> I knew it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Yeah, everyone keep cheering for me, please. 